quite quite interesting now moving on swiftly into something different and this is a world of clean energy in response to sustainable climate action kenyans have not been left behind in this quest now biogas as you know it is from cow dung however kenyans make biogas from human waste Yes, you had it right. So how does this particular person do it? KTN's Brian Jojo Tenor walks us through this intricate process. Fired petroleum gas has been a mainstay in fueling most domestic fueling and business needs, especially manufacturing in the country. However, due to costs, more Kenyans are resorting to clean, renewable energy. One such Kenyan is Francis Makadimo, who makes biogas from get this human waste and so one would ask how and what triggered him to take this path uh, I end um, a tour in Rwanda mm. and in Rwanda and I went to Rwanda prisons mm. and I found when they have started constructing biodigesters to cook for the prisoners like one prison I went to it had about 13,000 prisoners genocide prisoners so you find using wood fuel, when you calculate that one, there is a lot of tonnage of wood fuel. So you can exhaust even your forest within no time. So they were constructing, they were doing the biodigesters. That's where I got interested. And then it became my passion now. I said now I have to convert our institutions also to do the same. So when I came, I did one, the first one in Embo Prison. Tucked deep in Kitengela, Kajiado County, is his home, which is where all the magic happens. Herein lies his certified biogas plant at his farm. The award-winning ex-Kenya prisons director is the founder of BioNTechnom Africa Limited. The company constructs biodigesters for producing biogas. His passion stemmed from his previous life as a prisons director back in 2011. The shift towards clean energy has been a meticulous exercise. Here's how a biodigester works. This is where the toilet from the house, mm. this is the last manhole. Mm. From the house there, or the toilet there, they come here, this is the last manhole. Mm -hmm. And also from the cattle, mm. from there, mm -hmm. we feed them from that manhole there, okay. and it comes here. Mm. Now from here, this pipe goes at 45 degrees down, okay. and now here we have a dome. Mm. This is a dome. What, of what diameter? This is uh, 11 feet. Okay. 11 feet uh, diameter. Uh -huh. So it comes up to around this place. Yes. Then this one comes at 45 degrees. Okay. Then it enters here. So this is the dome. Mm. So the mixing of everything, everything is digested here now. Yeah, okay. When it is digested, mm. then we have stairs here which goes up to that one. Okay. This one is known as an expansion chamber. Okay. Expansion chamber. What does it do? This one is mm -hmm. to, 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 you can see the level, that one is down and this one is high. It's a bit high. So when there's a lot of pressure of mm -hmm. gas down there, when it pressures that down, this one clumps here, okay. it comes here. So when it comes here, it is stored here for a while. Mm -hmm. In case that one go, the gas now reduces that one, mm -hmm. this gives it the gas now pressure. So that the gas can come with the pressure in the kitchen. The gas is in a toka uko chini, in a kuja ngiapa, then it comes down, in a ngiapo, so in a kuja kwa jiko. So you can see. So where does he get his raw materials from? I, I brought in human waste. No, no, I'm already in a beba. So I brought and poured here. Here in a end, in a kwa sacked by exhausters. So you tell them? I, I, I told them to bring here. He says that the investment was worth it, that he doesn't spend on LPG anymore. He intimated he spent 87,000 shillings to get this setup ready. 13 uh, cubic feet, cubic meters. Now, uh, this one can cost about 87 to 100,000. His knowledge has been applicable in lots of institutions, among them Kenya prisons. I became the director and I introduced Carpenter's Green Corner. With this Carpenter's Green Corner, in every prison, I said each and every prison officer or the officer in charge should plant 10% of the land with the trees. The reason being, we are using this wood for making furniture. We are using the same for cooking food and what have you. 
then how do you indicate these prisoners for the, length, the, the, the time this tree grows to the size when you are cutting for timber? How many years did it take? Francis hopes his innovation can be embraced nationwide with a sizable number of households still using firewood and kerosene for cooking and lighting. They say one man's junk is another's jewel. But depending on how you look at it, for this story particularly, you carry assets on a daily basis that you actually don't know are assets that could help you save up a lot of cash in cooking gas costs and the like. But I've got to get back to work. So what you do with that information is totally up to you. Brian George Otieno for the World Environment Day from Kitengela, Kajiado County. Wow, incredible right there, Brian Giorgio Tieno. That story of human waste being converted into biogas. And that's it, the top story that is gassing the country up as it